having been accused of a crime, be it a lesser crime or a Title V offense, is not in any way seen as an implication of guilt by the state of Texas for its teachers. Feel free to contact Dr. Karen Lunel in Austin if you don't accept what I'm saying as accurate. There, there was an indictment by a Somerville County grand jury on two counts of sexual assault of a child that resulted from these allegations. We do know that there were handwritten coded notes that were given to a student and recovered at his home. I talked with, with Dr. Luna about the, the record being clear and everything, and she informed me that, that hiring and employment was strictly a local decision, not a decision that was made at the state level. It's up to us who who we employ or do not employ. Um, basically what I heard was that there were allegations made and there were indictments made. And yes, you know that. Uh, the state of Texas knows that. And the state of Texas has said, even with those indictments, I'm still fine to be in the classroom. That's no reason to deny me the ability to teach. Um, it's not a reason for other school districts to deny me the ability to teach. Um, it's only a problem for this district. Uh, regarding Dr. Karen Lunel, yes, she did tell me as well that hiring and employment were strictly a local decision, that it's up to them who to employ or not, that the state's not going to tell any district you have to hire a certain person. It's up to the district. She did say, specifically, that the allegations are not a reason not to hire me. In other words, if you don't want to hire me for some other reason, you, know, you don't have to hire anyone, but the allegations are not a reason to not hire me.